guys, so welcome to another video. Today we're going to be focusing on tile maps for the construct uh, series. Now this is not part of the top-down tutorial, just to be clear, so this is not video 5, but this is going to help you when you start beginning the stages, and I'm always going to refer to this video as a reference. So if you haven't watched 1, 2, 3, 4, you won't understand what this is. This is just basically a top-down tutorial we're doing, but I'm going to be building it on this stage. So the first thing you're going to do is be making use of tile maps. Tile maps essentially is a sort of a good way of building large stages without having to use sprites. Using too many objects will cause memory usage, high resources, CPU usage, etc. causing the game just to be unplayable. So in this case we make use of tile maps, also an object, but it allows us to scale massive stages, which is what we're going to be doing. So I've set the grid to 24 by 24. It's currently it was always at 32 by 32 in the tutorial. So I've set it to 24 and I'm going to be making use of a tile map. So I'm going to right click here just to jump straight into it, to save some time, and then insert new object and we're going to insert the tile map. Okay, so I'm going to dr drop it there, and you'll see it preloads. The construct has an asset base that's preloaded in the library. It's, you can use this if you want, if you want to use the little fences, but we're not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to be making use of the, um, what do you call it? The, I oh don't know, it's going to take way too long. Let's just do this. And click and delete. I'm going to be making use of the demonstration that they have in Demonair. I'm going to be using those tile maps. So it's part of the construct demonstration. I'm going to just drag and drop it in. And there you're going to see it. This is obviously in the demo that they give you part of construct. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. I know that this is set to 24 by 24. That is why I've set this to 24 by 24. And I've also gone ahead and set my player to slightly smaller than 24 because we want to make sure that he can work and go between the doors and the pathways, etc. So the next thing you can do is basically these assets are now available to this tile map. So you can use multiple tile maps above each other. That's also fine. So if you want to have a base being the, the footprint and you want to put buildings above the footprint, you're going to have to just overlay them, in, in, etc. So let's go ahead and set this to the back, the Z order, send this straight to the back of the layer. So we know that this is the base layer. Then we're going to just go ahead and let's take a pathway here. I'm going to just drag, let's say, the middle here. And I'm going to use the pencil tool and I'm just going to make a nice big enough little base. All right. The next thing I want to do is just fill it with a little bit of the border just to give you guys an example here. I mean, I don't want to waste too much time on this, guys. So I will let you guys play with it as you please. That's that border. Get this gray one coming down the side here. A little base layer here. We want to make sure that this is going to be essentially our wall, if that makes sense. So this is quite critical. And is there a more base here? Maybe not. Is it this one? I don't seem to have another wall there, doesn't matter. So let's do this then, close that off. Sorry, I do have this now one, it doesn't look right. You see, the, the tile map set to 32, but it should have been set to 24. So I'm just going to go ahead and correct that, and that'll give us a better start. Fantastic. So we know this is the safety haven. So now we can basically start and we can delete this wall as well, because we're not really going to need it now to hide, because I want this to use collisions. So there we've got our base, there's our little player, it's obviously probably set to 22 by 22, just making this entrance way a lot easier to go. But we can also set it to 24 by 24, keeping it all symmetrical. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that, making sure that everything is sort of fitting correctly. Fantastic. Now what we want to do is do the collisions. Now the collisions is effectively, if this was a water area or an area that we didn't want enemy AIs to go over in terms of these, this here being the walls or maybe lava or spikes, then you'd need to make use of collisions. And in this case, instead of using separate sprites, I'm going to use another tile map. So I'm going to go ahead and say insert new object and I'm going to use another tile map. I'm going to overlay it straight over here, but I'm going to go ahead and delete this as well. And I'm going to change it to a 24 by 24 because we're working with 24. It's just keeping it all symmetrical, making it a lot easier. 24, and I'm going to go fill it with a black. Okay, so we know where it is. So filling it with black and then setting it to 24 by 24. And effectively, there it is. Okay, great. So I'm going to use this tool and I'm going to basically just maybe on the outside paint it black so that I know nobody can come via there. They can only come via the door right through there essentially you can even do that okay so we know that they can only go through there know that the rest is solids right so that is the effect that i want to go with now what we can do is we can add a behavior to ensure that it's because if i play this now everybody will walk over it so let me just quickly show you if i go over it everyone can walk over it which is not what we want okay however i want to do two things here i want to add the behavior solid making those black walls okay so now that is a solid, 
no one can go through. But at the same time, I want to set it to invisible because I really don't want people to see where my collision points are. Let's go ahead and play. Right, so there's my guy. There you can see I'm going. He's chasing me. This guy's trying to chase me. And as I go inside here, I can go inside. Fantastic. He can come as well. He can follow. But effectively, this is a solid. So that is how we would use it as stages. If this was going to be a fence, if this was going to be, we'd obviously set the margins, etc. This is just a bit bigger now because I've set the black on the outside. You could use a different tile map. If you really want to get it on the blue line, you can go ahead and set this tile map to 32 by, or let's say 12 by 12, and then really getting nice and close with the black. But that is effectively how we're going to use our tile maps uh, moving forward in terms of our stages for the stop down. So make sure guys that you go ahead and get your favorite assets, create your own ones if you're doing pixel games, etc. But that is our demonstration on how to use tile maps. So this is just a standalone video. It will be part of the playlist, but it is not video uh, five. Video five will follow shortly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. Catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.